So as you can see, I'm in 1.17 on Windows 10 with shaders. How amazing is that? Hello Lazzy here and in today's video I will be showing you a trick thanks to this legend who showed me on a way you can get shaders in Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. Before I get into the video I just want to say you do need to have a paid version of Windows 10 Edition so if you have already purchased Windows 10 Edition then you are good to go. So in short why shaders are working with this version is because we are using a different version of Windows 10 Edition. So basically this version the 86x version of Minecraft Windows 10 Edition doesn't have Render Dragon installed so what that means is all the previous shaders which were based on the HSLS code will continue to work in this version of Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. So what you want to do is go to this website. I know it seems a little bit dodgy. It definitely seems a little bit dodgy. But anyway, all you want to do is copy and paste the Minecraft Windows 10 URL from the Microsoft Store on your Windows 10. Once you paste it in here, all you need to do is go ahead and find the 86x version of Minecraft. Now this actually didn't work on my computer, it just wouldn't let me download it. So what I did, I loaded it up on my iPad, downloaded it on my iPad and then transferred it to my computer. A little bit annoying, but that is just an alternative if it doesn't work for you as well. So once you have the file on your computer, all you need to do is install it. I'm not too sure if you had to uninstall Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, but I did that first anyway, just to be safe. I didn't have any worlds or anything, so I just got rid of them. However, definitely recommend backing up your worlds and backing up your files if you ever need to delete Minecraft. Now, I'm not too sure if this version of Minecraft is going to be, I guess, a little bit less optimized since it doesn't use Render Dragon. So I'm not too sure about the technical terms and all that technical stuff for Windows 10 Edition since I don't play it myself. However, if you do want to play the latest version of Windows 10 with shaders, then this method is one to try out. But that is it for today's video. If you did learn something new, make sure you drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the best Pocket Edition shaders. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one and peace.